Hello everyone, I'm Venerdi Plane. Welcome to today's tutorial where today I am going to be showing you how to uh, create a table in uh, this program called WordPad. Um, because, uh, as you probably know if you're watching this video, there is no um, way to actually insert a table anywhere. Um, you actually have to make the table yourself. Uh, so it's actually quite simple. Uh, and all you need is the keyboard and the plus and minus buttons on your keyboard. Um, so the plus, if I just type one now, will make up the um, vertical lines of the uh, table. So as you know, it's split into bits. And um, you obviously want to start with a plus because um, each table will be going down to start with. Um, and then you're going to use minuses, um, like that, which will then make the uh, gaps. Uh, so the places where you can write a word in or put a tick or something. Um, and and another plus to make the net the finishing vertical line and basically to make a table that's all you're going to want so you can now hit enter and you've got this table but that's obviously not enough so uh, if i just click on backspace there when you uh, go below it then you can then go back to edit editing it um so if uh, i want to have say a name here then i will put a load of minuses there and then um I could put maybe another load of minuses after that, which will then make another space um, like that. So then hit enter, and say so you could um, say I was doing a count of how many na names there were in a group of people. I could write name there, uh, and then here I could write amount, and I've spelled it wrong. It's only one m. Uh, actually, I'm not very sure. Uh, anyway, that's that, and then you can squeeze them in uh, a bit. So uh, once you've done that, you can actually, um, if you click beside it, so you can see the uh, flashing uh, letter cursor there, kind of. Uh, hit enter again, and it actually makes a duplicate of that. Um, you can then scale them outwards if you've got it the wrong size. Um, you can also scale a section downwards like that uh, in case you need uh, more space. So I could then uh, say, right, uh, uh, Alex and let's say there were 10 alexes in uh, my survey uh you can then go again and i could write um uh anything i can write any name at all uh and then that and so now you have your um table ready to make uh, I can drag that out because um, for uh, Paul, there was a lot of Pauls in my, in my group, so I need a big space for Paul. Um, so that's how you do the tables. And if you then find out that you've actually done it wrong, well, I'm not quite sure what to do there. You're probably going to have to go backspace and select it like that and backspace each of them uh, indiv individually uh, and then you're going to have to start again probably because if you wanted to write uh, name amount and the average age of all of those people name amount and age so basically you can just go as much as wild as you want with it, with each of these. Uh, you can go off the uh, piece of paper if you wanted. Uh, so just mess around if you want to. Um, or if you actually wanted the table then don't mess around, just do whatever you want to do with it. Uh, but anyway, thank you for watching this uh, tutorial. Uh, hopefully it has worked for you. Uh, one thing that I forgot to mention at the start was... Um, it doesn't work on old windows uh i think this was introduced in windows 7 or vista so if you're using xp or uh something like that then it won't work and i think it, it's 7 or newer so it probably won't work on vista anyway so sorry for that um but yeah thank you for watching this video don't forget to uh like and subscribe if you have any comments like questions then put those in if you're stuck on anything and you want me to make a tutorial anything at all then uh you can also put that in the comment section uh but for now i will see everyone in another video